Institute primarily focuses on natural resource professionals. And the core of our program is the International Fellowship Program, where we bring researchers here for between 6 to 12 months. We don't really export products or services. We're really exporting knowledge in the form of our fellows who come here, gain this knowledge, and then go back home and hopefully help improve forest management back home. We've had 101 fellows from at least 32 countries. We've seen two general trends in the last few years. The first is that more people are coming from emerging countries like Asia and Africa because they really have the drive and the thirst to come here and increasingly the means to come here. And secondly, initially we were getting traditional dirt foresters in the program. And now as a reflection of the fact that forestry has changed into this multidisciplinary uh, sector, we're getting wildlife biologists, water specialists, economists, even architects who are interested in green building. One of them might be looking at biomass industry, another person may be looking at inventorying mushrooms in the forest for forest health, others are looking at uh, remote sensing for urban forestry, another person is looking at sawmill processing. So it runs the whole gamut. We had a student from Pakistan last year who told me she was looking for other opportunities after she finished her fellowship here. And Every time she Googled International Forestry Fellowship, all that came up was the World Forest Institute. So I don't think there are too many programs out there like this. The more you meet people from around the world, the more you realize that everybody basically faces the same natural resource challenge, which is how do you get more out of less? And that doesn't really seem to matter where you're coming from. And we face the same challenges here. So in bringing these people here, we're able to learn from them as much as they're able to learn from us. When you work in forestry, you tend to be pretty low key, and we don't toot our own horns an awful lot. Uh, so it's especially nice when you get an award uh, from an organization that's outside the forestry sector. And we should be proud of the heritage that we have in forestry and forest management in Oregon um, because that's something we should be able to shout out loud and talk to the world about. I don't think there's a substitute for going to another country and you know, getting face-to-face -face interaction and learning on the ground. So I think there's always going to be a hunger for that.